If you thought Fulton was a good county to bring your crime to, to bring your violence to, um, you are wrong. Because I have nothing to add. Like, I have nothing to run from. What's good, Rizzle fam? You know, even though he's not been with us for some time now, Vaughn's name is still present in the media. And most recently, some more new information has been released about the incident that King Vaughn and Lil Dirk found themselves in back in 2019. Looks like King Vaughn was to blame after all, and Dirk was innocent. But is there much more to that than this in this not-so-new case? What really happened? And how was Dirk able to beef this heavy charge? So the Fulton County DA, who goes by the name of Fannie Willis, is on duty. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody knows just how strict this lady is and just how far she's ready to go in order to bring criminals to justice. Ever since she reached the position of DA, she made a promise that she would lower the crime rate in Atlanta. And that's exactly what she's been doing. As you already know, if it wasn't for her, the famous YSL Rico case may not have been happening. But being determined as she is, she managed to pull Thugger, Gunna, and several other other YSL crew members behind bars. Not only that, but the judge in their cases has denied them bond release on several occasions. These people just don't want to let them out before their trials begin. And that's it. Period. Now, the YSL group is very far from being the only one who is under the scope of the criminal huntress Fannie Willis. One month ago, she indicted another criminal group. Remember this video? The Drug Rich Gang, which is a hybrid gang, and they found their way into my county, Fulton County. If you thought Fulton was a good county to bring your crime to, to bring your violence to, um, you are wrong. She's indicting people fearlessly, just like she said she would when she made her DA statement. A lot of people believe that the entire drill rap scene of Atlanta has indeed calmed down a little bit ever since the fear of Rico indictments became a thing. It looks like most rappers decided that it would be a smart idea to put down all the Dracos and Blickies. However, it seems like she can't bust all the people in her scope after all. Just a few days ago, news came in that Fannie Willis is going to drop the attempted murder charges that were held against Lil Durk since 2019. Naturally, she issued a statement to the public shortly after her decision, and this is what her spokesman said to the press. This office has denied to indict Derek Banks, aka Lil Durk, for the February 5th, 2019 incident because insufficient evidence exists to prove his guilt beyond a reasonable doubt at trial. The statement then continues on to say that the person responsible was in fact King Vaughn and not Dirk. The issue goes on, if co-defendant Devon Bennett, aka King Vaughn, had not died in 2020, he would have been indicted for this incident. The Atlanta PD had evidence to establish probable cause to arrest him. So the famous case from 2019 where Lil Durk allegedly shot a person and the Popos had it on camera wasn't actually true. Looks like they weren't 100% correct with the story that they came up with. So what's up with that? Let's just go back to 2019 and see what happened. See, in May of 2019, a warrant was issued with Lil Durk's name written all over it. He was about to be taken in because of his connection to a shooting incident. Allegedly, Dirk was not alone in this mess. He and his longtime friend, fellow rapper King Vaughn, were caught up in a murder attempt outside of Atlanta's The Varsity restaurant back on February 5th of 2019. That night, a man by the name of Alexander Weatherspoon lost his life in a drive-by incident. He had a gunshot wound in his thigh and he was rushed to the hospital. Fortunately, he didn't make it. He said his chain was snatched off his neck and he had $30,000 stolen from him and they stole the vehicle he was driving. Moreover, it was also said that Dirk robbed Alexander. Before the incident happened, he took his jewelry, his vehicle, and 30 k worth of cash. As you imagine, Vaughn and Dirk were facing several charges. They were also slammed with aggravated assault, participation in criminal street gang activity, possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony, and possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. Dirk surrendered himself to law enforcement. He said that he had nothing to run from and that he was not afraid. Because I have nothing to add. Like, I have nothing to run from. We already know how that case went down. Dirk and Vaughn were eventually released on bond, and next year in 2020, King Vaughn unfortunately lost his life when he was gunned down by Lil Tim after he got into a fight with rapper Quando Rondo. Lil Dirk, however, still had the case pending. Things were not resolved on his part until now. Fannie Willis came out in the news and seems like Dirk ducked the case after all these years. All those rumors they had on evidence against him on five different cameras shooting the victim were false. Otherwise, they would have been used against him. Now, this whole situation is a little bit puzzling, namely, how can you not indict Dirk and say that Vaughn would have caught the charges if he was alive when the two of them were together when the incident happened? If Dirk and Vaughn were together that night and caught on camera, then how is it possible that Fannie Willis was ready to drop the charges against Dirk and say that Vaughn was the one who actually was responsible? There seems to be two options on the table right now as to why the ATL Police Department did such a thing. Either they looked at the evidence again and came to the conclusion that the person in the 
the car next to Vaughn was not Lil Durk, in that case, they completely woofed with bringing Durk in. Or, on the other hand, and probably more likely of the scenarios, they decided to blame it on Vaughn because, well, he's just not alive anymore. It could be something else, too, but at this point, these two options seem like the most probable. Either way, looks like Dirk's lawyers used the old blame it on the dead card in order to get Dirk out of any trouble. It also means that Dirk has a lot of influence and some hella strong connections. Not anyone could just duck cases like that. Fans know what's up. One guy said, it's obvious that Little Dirk's lawyers put the blame towards King Vaughn, most likely saying that Vaughn did everything and Dirk has nothing to do with it. Pretty sure if Vaughn was alive, this case would have a different outcome. And another person added, boy, does money and influence talk. Dirk is connected to some powerful people. Unreal. With that being said, it makes you question whether or not the ATL police is actually consistent with what they're doing. They brought in a bunch of people from the YSL, even though they clearly don't have enough evidence to charge them. They denied bonds to Gunna and Thug several times, yet they decided to drop charges on Dirk, who they had on camera doing a crime. Something's not right here, man. As of now, we'll have to wait to see how this whole thing with YSL develops. What once looked like a very grim future for all those involved with the Young Slime Life click might not be so bad after all. We gotta wait until next year to see how things develop before we make any kind of statement though, but the inconsistencies that we've seen in the work of the ATL law enforcement make you wonder, just what in the world's going on, man? Perhaps Dirk is just one exception. There is the fact that the guy's got hella clout. Perhaps his legal team is the one who's behind all of this, and if it weren't for them, who knows if Dirk would've had them charges dropped. It does remind us of NBA Youngboy and his insane victory against gun charges. His lawyers pulled him out of trouble that time around, and perhaps Lil Dirk just went through the exact same thing. But what do y'all think about the recent developments with Lil Dirk? You think he's got a mighty good team of lawyers, or did the PD just make a dumb mistake? Also, do you really think they have enough evidence on Thugger and Gunna, or are they gonna be kept inside for other reasons? Let us know what you think all about it in the comments section below. If you like this video, make sure to press that like button and subscribe to this channel. Thanks so much for watching to the end, and as always, remember to keep it Rizzle.